going to be playing around out here. I'm going to turn some lights on. Bringing cameras on the airplane started as just a way to share the adventure, but it quickly became one of the most useful tools in our flight bag. Early 2013 was the first time I brought a GoPro on board the airplane with me. GoPro provided a new way to catch some really awesome shots of just what was going on in the airplane without having to have a handheld camera that I was trying to manage in flight. Along the way I caught some of my favorite aviation moments from taking my daughter flying to this landing I had in Bowling Green that still today is my favorite. Three months after that landing that I still feel was one of my greatest, uh, and I was glad I was able to capture it, I was out flying 4-6 oh, Romeo at Lebanon and just butchering my pattern work. I was all over the place. Uh, my, my speeds were off, my approaches, angle of attack. And the aircraft had recently come back into service after having a bigger engine put on it, so I was a little bit unfamiliar with the handling of the aircraft. It took some getting used to. But still, it was a valuable lesson to have the camera on board the airplane so that I could see it and review what I was doing right and what I was doing wrong. The biggest mistake I made after this flight was not touching an airplane again for over three years before I finally got recurrent, got my BFR done got back in the airplane. Then I had all new lessons to learn and a whole new way of experiencing them by having the cameras on board the airplane and most importantly external on the aircraft. This was my first solo landing I did in a 434 Echo Pop with a uh, external mounted camera. Not bad, a little bit of a bounce on the nose wheel although I was kind of fighting some crosswinds but I realized I was landing really flat just not flaring enough for the approach so being able to see that gave me a whole new perspective by having a camera on the outside of the airplane. So on my next landing, of course it's Romeo, I was able to just compensate much smoother landings, more on the mains, less on the nose. Being able to review what I had seen in a previous flight and apply it to my next flight gave me a lot more confidence in my abilities as a pilot. My next goal was to get back into my workhorse, the Archer. First solo flight again, able to review by having an external camera, learned real quick that I was landing almost on the nose before the mains ever even touched the ground. Again, being able to review that on camera was valuable information. Although I didn't completely correct it on my next trip to Huntsville. I'm not saying it's a landing to be disappointed in, but trying to eliminate that flat landing and letting the nose touch along with the mains and flare out more. Armed with that knowledge, being able to review this video before my return trip to Nashville helped me make a much better landing in the airplane and much better landings going forward. The last situation I wanted to share was after a landing in Nashville, I had a brake failure on board the airplane. There wasn't a whole lot that I could change about the situation, but being able to review this video helped me be able to determine was it operator error or was it actually something wrong with the aircraft. Ooh, man. Whoa, fuck. I got no brakes. I got no brakes. I can't turn it. And tower, I'm going to have to go up to November. Tower 655, that's fine. Left to November, ground point nine. I was trying to make a reverse high speed exit off the runway. Being able to see the video, I was able to at least tell that the nose wheel was turning. I may have been carrying a little bit too much speed for the brakes to actually slow me down enough to get the nose wheel to do what I needed. But after review, it actually was a problem with the airplane. Needless to say, I've become a very big advocate of having cameras on board the aircraft. Even if you don't share the footage on YouTube or Facebook or wherever, it provides great analysis for you to use as a tool of what you're doing with the airplane and how you're doing it. On top of the ability to 
provide these stunning visuals, amazing scenery, just all around great content that's worth sharing. I have to say thanks to Nashville Flight Training for all their support they've given me in these videos and allowing me to use their aircraft. If you're in Middle Tennessee and looking to get back in the left seat like me, give them a call. Their information's in the description below. Until next time, keep flying, keep sharing, and remember, it's truly amazing out there.